So, when was the last time that you experienced or witnessed a miracle? I believe that people are not receiving miracles or seeing, experiencing miracles because they have not put themselves in position or done what is required to receive a miracle. Well... And, and I know that sounds crazy probably because it's like, well, how do you, you can't work to receive a miracle. How do you receive a miracle? Uh, what, what does that mean to be in position to receive a miracle? When I say that, I mean action. Action is the required step to receive a miracle. Action and faith correlate together. And so where there is no action, there can be no miracle. If you're sitting on the couch, there's no need for a miracle. If you're just twiddling your thumbs, there's no need for a miracle. Action is required to see miracles happen in your life. For example, uh, the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible, in the Bible, the woman with the issue of blood, um, she had this issue for 12 years, spent all the money she had, and she came into connection with Jesus, who performed a, a miracle, and the issue ceased. Uh, someone's child was dead, and there was action because they were carrying the body, and in the in the in the midst of their action or their activity, miracle happened. Uh, in the parting of the Red Sea. These people were between a rock and a hard place or between the Egyptians and the river. There was no escape, but because of their actions, when they got to a place where they couldn't do it any longer on their own, a miracle happened. Countless times, every time you look in the Bible and you see a miracle, it's in correlation to someone's action. You can't sit on the couch and expect miracles. Oh, I need a miracle. For what? You're not doing nothing. That's a waste of a good miracle for you to just sit there. You can't sit up and not do nothing and expect that there's a miracle coming to you. That's not how miracles work. So it just makes me think, like, what are you doing? What am I doing that's miracle worthy? Where I'm like, God, I need a miracle. Or, man, I, I just need something to to line up in my favor. Well, if I'm not doing anything, then I don't need uh, to. I don't need God to part the heavens and to reach down and touch the earth and shake the world up on my behalf just for me to fill it on the couch. No, 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 no. And if you don't have, if you, if if you're not in that place to where you're taking action, but you're expecting a miracle, I would suggest you don't need a miracle. You need a vision. You need some ambition, some vision, some drive. You need to get up, do something, but you can't be a handout recipient and expect miracles. Miracles come to people who are active, who are actively trying to seek better, who are trying to do something, who are trying to make something work, make something happen. For, for example, when Jesus fed the multitude, they were following him. They were walking behind him. They were listening to him. He was teaching them. Uh, and they were in the place of either miracle or death, right? Or miracle or starvation or, you know, people were hungry, whatever. And so the miracle happened in that stance. You can't sit around and expect miracles. So do you believe in miracles? Are you in position to receive a miracle? 
Have you done, have you exhausted all of your resources to get to the place where you need a miracle? Miracles are still possible. Miracles still happen, but you have to be willing, ready, and able to jump out and do what it takes for the miracle to hit you. Uh, faith without works is dead. You need faith and your work to correlate together in order to receive a miracle.